up and out of the campsite. It's 6 a.m. Actually, I guess it's 7 now. Or close there too. But the mountains are still uh, covered in fog, early morning fog. But the animals are still out. You know, a lot of bunnies and beasts. This is a beautiful road, beautiful ride. So we're on our way to the Indian Boundary Campground along the Churahola Skyway. So this is going to be a specially good adventure today. So stay tuned. This stop and they have a little viewing port here which is pretty nice this is we're still early in the morning 10 o'clock more or less This is the Cherokola Skyway and we are traveling it. It has many warnings for motorcycles and cars that it's 45 and 18 in many places. So it's a beautiful place, um, beautiful highway. It's like the Blue Ridge Parkway. However, it's not owned by the National Forest Service. So I can run drones on here. I can do with the dog without a leash in places. It's uh, it's just a beautiful spot that um, I wanted to come visit. So let's go exploring and we'll see if we can capture some of the beauty of this highway while we drive along. All right, come on folks. Unfortunately, Tennessee isn't open yet. <laughs> they haven't taken off taken off the blanket of clouds yet. <laughs> but it's proven to be a nice day if this burns off. The sun is coming. And, uh, boy, this is a beautiful highway. There are these parking areas. Am I here? Hello. There are these parking areas and picnic areas about every three miles, so it's pretty nice. You should come here. Come and visit. If it weren't quite so cloudy, this would be a really nice shot. It's a little on the hazy side, but not a bad view. We're going camping out there somewhere. Not sure where.
right, we finally got to the Chera Cherahola Skyway Visitor Center. And we're gonna go in and check it out. So they got lots of clothes. They got some of your finer wines. Oh, you really want to paddle somebody. That's impressive. <laughs> Stay there. Your naked bee body and hand lotions. And right next to the visitor center is the Charles Hall Museum. So we'll go in and check this out. They got coins and cameras and Victrolas and radios and all sorts of things. They got a small armory in here. Arrows. Some old muskets. It's a pretty impressive waterfall, that's for sure. It's big and it's pretty. And there are people way up at the top. This could be one of those silly selfies that people fall off the cliff doing, but uh, this is worth it. This is just unbelievably beautiful. Early morning, the sun is just coming up over the mountains. The uh, clouds are, you don't need to see me. <laughs> the clouds are still in the valleys. It is just beautiful. It's gonna be a beautiful day. How would you like to live right there? 
all alone in the middle of all that wilderness. <laughs> As the sun slowly rises in the east, the mountains are illuminated. And it is so pretty, so majestic. Now that's the way to enjoy this road. 45 miles up. <laughs> well folks, it's the end of a trip here to the Chirahola Skyway. Um, half in Tennessee, half in North Carolina, and I have to tell you, this has been one of the best trips I have done in a very long time. This is a must-do for anybody with a motorcycle. Um, bikes, boats, and bivouacs, you need to come out here. Um, this is, uh, the, the locals call this the Tale of the Dragon. Um, because it's got so many curves and so many switchbacks and it's a beautiful road unbelievably nice and it's got lots of pull-offs lots of scenery lots of places and all around it is the National Forest with free camping uh, $10 camping $20 camping and some $30 camping it's all there for anybody who wants to go unbelievable um, so this is going to end my uh, Cherahola Skyway uh, video. We've got a lot of videos about what we did here, climbing mountains, camping out, the campground reviews, local attractions, waterfalls, free campsites, all the things are coming up in the next weeks. So stay tuned, hit subscribe, and uh, follow this journey with me. I'll try to get these out as soon as I can. But I've got better than 32 hours of video to edit and put into 15 or 20 minute videos. So we'll see what we can do with that. But if you like motorcycles and you like riding them, this is a place that you live to ride. Okay? Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Give me a thumbs up if you like this series. And uh, I hope I can get someplace like this again. I probably won't come back here because I like exploring new places, but boy, this was one to beat the band. I'll, it's awesome. All right, enough of me. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.